Shredheads, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Van Powers Manaday. I think it's M A N I D A E. But uh, before we get started on this unboxing, if you guys do want to support the channel, check out that link for the Van Powers. Um, I don't know if they're having any kind of holiday special, but I'll check out the website uh, when we check out all the specs on this e bike. It's like a uh, mountain bike type electric bike with fat tires. Uh, I think I want to compare this actually to the Hovsko that actually has a torque sensor. I'm not sure if this is cadence uh, sensor or a torque sensor, but we're going to find out all about that. Uh, these back there uh, putting a post up or sending a, an email. Oh, can you guys make sure the affiliate link for the Van Powers works? Can you see if you guys can click it on your cell phones or your computers for some reason we're, we're uh, not able to get that affiliate link to actually work i'm actually not able to get to the affiliate link at all right now so i can't check at all but let me get all this stuff off i don't know where to find it let me grab uh, my other phone oh you're not getting affiliate links in there uh the code is actually not in there at all Oh, oh, this isn't even working. I can't read any, uh, any of this stuff right now. Any comments? So, CA, let's go. German Waldo, hell yeah, finally made it for a live stream on time. Hell yeah. Oh, okay, D's finally getting in here. We'll get that uh, link working. If you guys do end up wanting to get this e-bike, I'll send you a, a link. Just send me a DM. And we'll get that uh, sent right out to you guys. Uh, these behind the camera. I'm going to grab this. That way I can get all the specs on this e-bike. This is called the Van Powers Manny Day. I don't know if I'm saying it right, guys. So who's on the chat? D, can you uh, say hi to people? Edmund Kim, um, Gear Lee, the, um, did you copy the link for me? Uh, what That's link? I need. <laughs> oh, I can't sign in through that. Hold on. Sorry guys, I should have done this before we got started on this video. Can you read any comments Chris in there? Pilot made it, woo woo, Billy is yeah. What's up, guys? Why was that the candle long? <laughs> How are you guys doing? Any Christmas plans? Any Christmas group rides? I know, Christmas is five days away. That's insanity. All right. All right, Eddie, just start opening the bike. Yeah, I give up. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, no, uh... No affiliate link right now for this. They can see the website, you just... It takes you to the website. Oh no! The staples. You guys know I love those staples so much. There's a Christmas tree art behind here. I'm gonna lean this forward. Actually, it's probably gonna flop back up and hit a D. I'm not trying to knock down our ornaments. It looks like there's a box within a box. These guys went hard on this pack job. What is going on? Well, guys, nice I was when they pack it up good. Hang, I hung out for about an hour today with Bomber Marv and Matt the Mechanic. Went on a little ride. Uh, I'll show you, was editing a lot of the Christmas parade ride where we got in with some scooter dooters and then some people came uh, over from Philly to hang out and actually ride with us. I tried the C3 Strom and the Talaria Sting for the very first time. So that was pretty cool. I think I might lay this down. And I did a lot of wheelies. You guys will see my, my wheelie progression. And actually I'm a lot better now than I was in that video. Man, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm, I wanna like slice this off so I can get like these staples out of the way. Is there any questions, guys? Sorry, guys. Can I answer any questions for the you guys? The camera's like moving all over the place because I need higher and I don't know how to do it. Let's 
Shreddy didn't cut through. There we go. Oh, guys, I'm sorry that uh, I couldn't join that. It was that one video that went into a premiere, but the premiere didn't work. There was something going on with YouTube premieres. Oh, last Monday. Yeah, YouTube was having a glitch. Yeah, so I couldn't join the premiere, so I had to, like, make it public right away. And it was actually the same night uh, Kill Tony had that crazy uh, premiere thing happen. The glitch happened to them, too. And unfortunately, everybody was attacking uh, Red Band, uh, blaming him for, for, for that happening. And definitely, he has nothing to do with that. That's crazy. Uh, for those of you that are joining, I'm just doing that because I hate the staples so much. <laughs> that I'm just getting them out of the way because I always get caught up in them. Is there more staples in, in here or are we good? I think we're good. So... I can't tell what color they gave me because it's so wrapped up. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh yeah, we can't tell what color it is yet. I'm so gonna start getting bright. all this what color stuff do you out. Think it got, what color do you think it is, guys? My guess, my guess is, I don't see the color yet, but I'm gonna guess black. Uh, a few poor, a few more people joined. Edmund Kim said, "Sup, Amelia Socorro, how are you guys?" What's Chris going Violet. on? What's Merry going Christmas, on? McSkate fam. Merry early Christmas. Sound Get ready for the Christmas parade ride. That's oh, you're gonna... working on your Christmas parade? It's actually going to be done. It should be out this week. Sandalorian, hey, what's going on, Shreddy and D? Hey, Sando, guys. Sando, what's going on? Emilio, another bike, Shreddy. Eric Gardner another. said, hey. Runaway Electric, what's new, Shreddy and D? Chris Pilot, double box staples. That's just mean. <laughs> I know, they got me. I don't mind, like, the crazy glue. But is that is that leg moving, D? Yeah, nothing's um. <laughs> I can't. Oh, I got it's you here. Crooked. Look, you go like this. There you go. Well, I think one leg's longer. Yeah, I was trying to make it higher. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I'm crooked. Struggling okay. with Dee Dee today, guys. <laughs> this camera's set up like wrong. Okay, here we go. All right. Um. This has RST forks. And it has an instruction manual for the Mila forks. Socorro said green. Gearly said white. Crash can evil. Shreddy, what's up, bruh? What's up? How you guys all doing? Thank you guys for joining uh, this live stream on a 7 o'clock on a Tuesday, the 20th. It looks like we got a notification bell. Heck yeah. I think this is a throttle. I don't know how to respond to that. Yo, she always listens to me on the watch for some reason. She's always like snooping on me. Eric Garner said silver. So yeah, I rolled over 7,000 miles on my Pedego Element and the odometer reset. Called them up and I'm one of the few that's to do that. Oh my God, I've never done that on any of my e-bikes yet. I think that's a, that's a good accomplishment. They should send you some kind of plaque for that. The most miles ridden. I'm throwing that in there only to probably pull it right back out. And we got all of our tools. Do you guys think this comes with a uh, quick release? front wheel or do you think it's going to be a drop in or drop out fork well, actually <laughs> it's a drop out fork though all right i think we're going to lay this down and pull it out maybe do you think shreddy has the strength to pull this out of the box with his little dinky arms <laughs> yes. It's a big box. <sighs> Sorry. I'm looking at Shreddy's Booty butt. shot. <laughs> Booty shot. Sorry, guys. All right. I'm going to see if there's anything else in there. It looks like there's one more box. Don't knock over the oh, tree. Oh, I see the color. Don't knock over. It looks like it's the same color as my other uh, mountain bike. Right? Do you think that's the same color? I like, like it. It's like a dark charcoal gray. It has a nice darker. sheen to it. Nice oh. tires. Big tires. Guys, comment down below. Do I need this? Should I toss it right now or do I keep Please it? Please read that first. Or do I read it from that side? <laughs> we'll keep that right there. I'm going to try to gently. Oh my God, the box by itself is even heavy. Jeez. Place this out of the way. Oops. He's like, don't knock over my candles. 
This is gonna be fun. There's staples on the bottom of this, so I gotta make sure not to scratch. CA said three sets of tires, second battery. Hashtag no big deal. No big deal. Some water said quick release. Crash Knievel, hit that like button, e bikers Thank you, thank you. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'll get back in the view here. Eboard 3R, what's up? Amelia Sequero, nice color. Earl Buckley, what's good, Shreddy? What's up? All right, is this out of the way, the camera? Runaway Electric, you should get the Rad Power trike. I've never had a trike yet. That would be a first for the channel. I think that would be pretty freaking cool. All right. I just want to make it look a little neater behind it. Let me just get this stuff out of here. All right, here we go. Who should we get our first trike from? That'd be cool. All right, two amp charger, three amp charger. My guess is three amp charger. It's Christmas. I've got so many of these actual, like the same exact chargers. So I think it is a, I want to say it's a two amp. Da -da -da -da. Two amp charger. Yep. But like I always say, I got the, the Grin charger, so I can probably charge this at five amps safely, I hope. I'm not sure I understand. Why are you listening to me, Siri? Hey, Didi, any questions? Um, any comments? The Hulk smash. Hello, nice bike. The Hulk smash. What's going on? Thank you. Thank you. Emilio Soquero. Hey, Shreddy, how many more bikes do you have to open? I have the, the second Frigo, but we'll talk about that in the next video. I also have a bike we're giving away that's behind Dee Dee. We're going to talk about that soon if you guys haven't seen that yet on my Instagram. If you guys have time, head over there right quick. But I'll bring out the bike I'm giving away here in a second. I just want to get through all this uh, unboxing first. We don't need that. Do we need this? Instruction manuals for the charger. I don't think I'm good with that. I feel like there was something that was weighted in there that I shouldn't have thrown away. No, we're good. It was just the instruction manual. Okay. Why is there an instruction manual? CA said trike with 1,000 watt hubs for all three wheels and mid drive a field day for Mechanic Marv. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. Actually, Bomber Marv does have some special treats to show us on the channel here coming soon. He does have a few, uh, what are they, the Ray Volts that go very, very fast. You guys got like a small glimpse of the cruiser that he may go about, excuse me, 70 miles an hour. You're gonna see that hopefully again here soon. And then he also made a Ringo that goes about, he said 72, I think he told me today. So I'm excited to check all that out. He also has a a recumbent, I think those are called recumbent trikes. That goes about 45 miles an hour. So, oh my God. Oh, I, I saw this thing all bent. You see how this is all bent? I thought that was my rotor. I was like, oh no. I did too. I was like, why is it moving? It's just paper. It's plastic. I was like, Amelia geez. Selkwer said, are you guys getting ready for Christmas? It's Christmas today, right now. Almost, just have to start wrapping. <laughs> yeah, I'm unwrapping all week long e-bikes. Uh, I'm gonna lay this down on the nut disc side and I'll just keep unwrapping. All right, so I mean, I know how to put the, the quick releases in, but I still, I gotta meet, I gotta talk to somebody that actually knows about the quick releases and how much you should actually torque them down or, or tighten them up because I, I have no idea. I heard you shouldn't like tighten them up like too super tight. Like um, Paul Tama told me, uh, tight, tighten it down and then push it down. You should see like a little mark or indent of, you know, where you push on your hand, but it shouldn't be too crazy. The cleanup after this is always. Are always you guys funny. almost ready for Christmas? Yeah, what's everybody else doing for Christmas? You guys get any bikes for Christmas? <laughs> yeah, what actually what e-bikes did you all uh, order for Christmas or what did you ask for uh, Christmas from Santa Claus if you guys uh, sent him a letter this year? <laughs> and here's my quick release lever. I will set that right to the side there. CA said snug but able to open. Amelia said love the Christmas tree. Thank you, yeah. thank you. I got a... I got a little taco truck here because you guys know I love 
the tacos, a little jalapeno <laughs> pep, or is that a pickle or a pot? Uh, that's a pickle. Pickle, that's a jalapeno pepper. I wish it was. Then was my frappe. I got to have my frappe because you guys know I love my frappes. Your hot what else? sauce is next to the frappe. My, my, uh, my hot sauce because I love hot sauce. My little weed leaf because, you know, I love happy holidays, D-A-Z-E. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and all the other cool, girly, dainty things in there. <laughs> Avocado toast. Oh, there's a taco oh. too. Oh, Kenda. And the juggernauts. How big are these? 26s? And McKim's like cool ornaments. These are freaking huge. Earl Buckley said lyric graffiti. That's right, Earl, lyric graffiti. That should be coming here pretty soon. I don't know the exact, exact day, but. 2023. It should be here pretty soon. In January 2023. You guys remember, use check out Eddie's e-bike discount codes if you want a bike right down below if this CA, isn't for you ca said i want a kepler and a grizzly budget won't allow though oh you want both <laughs> eddie has a link for that grizzly v3 too. i think aero rider should be coming out with some new stuff hopefully this year it looks like they are mechanical disc brakes 203 millimeter rotors nice okay Emilio Sequero said spending time with family. Hell Edmund yeah. And Kim, cool ornaments. Thank you, thank you. You picked a lot, actually most of the, all of them out. <laughs> you picked all the ornaments out, right? Yep. All right, so what are you doing now, Shreddy? I'm undressing the bike. <laughs> oh, a seat. Looks like I have to flip the fork around, put the handlebars on, put the pedals on, put that front tire on. So this bike is for all terrain, right? Like an electric mountain bike? You could bike? say it's kind of like an electric mountain bike, fat tire, uh, like beach cruiser type bike. Cause you can take this on the, on the beach pretty easy with these freaking fat tires. I'm pretty sure these are 26 inch rims from the looks of it, but it doesn't say any, any sizes on the tire, I don't see. Nope. All right, keep on dressing. Keep on dressing. I think it said, um, well, you'll put it to the test in a first ride, but it said, um, mm -hmm. definitely for off roading, all terrain, well, great for trails, sand, rocks, snow. Can you guys comment down below, like, what e bikes or what type, what style of e bikes do you guys want to see on the channel in the future? Do you guys want to keep seeing more of these style e-bikes? Do you guys want more moped style e-bikes? Or do you guys like a variety of e-bikes? Or do you just like, you know, just me riding uh, pretty much modded e-bikes? Or all of the above. Dumb Waldo said, my bike collection is going in the wrong direction for Christmas. I'm giving my first DIY bike to my nephew and have to sell my Onyx. Oh. The circuit stays with me though. That bike is a part of me. Dude, I'm so bummed out when I interviewed you about your bike. My freaking, uh, my mic cord popped out. And I don't know if you noticed during the um, the group ride in, in, in Houston. Oh, you met him in Houston? Yeah, yeah, we hung oh. out on the road, yeah. So uh, I interviewed him about the bike, talking to him about it and getting like, you know, all the specs and everything, but the freaking mic was unplugged and most of the ride my mic was unplugged i don't know if you guys noticed the wind noise oh, i was so bummed out so that's one thing you got to do when you're vlogging always make sure that mic is working <laughs> always 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 what is I messed the, up, guys. what is the circuit Ooh, bike? look at that that thing's pretty sick if if, if, you, if you can drop a link in there for the for everybody to check out and maybe uh can you talk a little bit about it in the comments how fast does it go what's the voltage just just a little bit of the specs. I don't know if you want to. So it's on your Mega Ride video. What's that? It's on your Mega Ride video. It would have been on the Mega Ride video, but I was like looking at the bike, and it was really noisy. You can okay. barely hear him. He had the mic in his hand. If the mic was on and working, okay. we would have heard him like clear as day. But I failed at life that ride. I don't know if you guys watch the video in the daylight and the daytime and then go to the nighttime. That's when my mic, like I plug everything in, in right, make sure everything is working. Look how uh, small like it is down here in the frame. The, the battery is, is really small. Looks very, uh, looks very stealthy. Looks like a 750 watt motor. 
It's oh, me. Oh, Emilio Sequeiro, did you see the purchase price on the Super 73? Yeah, I saw that, man. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. That's, that's a lot of money. That's, that's four. When I, when I purchased my Super 73 RX, what, two years ago, D? It was, I think it was on the pre-order price, so it was 3,200 bucks. Pretty sure it was 3,200, 3, right? I have no idea. I think it was 3200 <laughs> And now it's going to be like 3900 for him. That's crazy. I think uh, Kim said modded. More modded bikes? Dumb Waldo, I want to see you out in the cold riding any of your bikes, LOL. <laughs> I was out there today with Byron Marv, and actually that, that, uh, the Christmas ride, it was actually pretty cold. And you'll, you'll see me riding home in the cold. I, uh, I don't think I have my heated gloves, but... I do have my uh, heated Milwaukee jacket, and I did start wearing, uh, you know, you guys know those uh, hand warmers that you like shake up and they get really hot and you, you can put them in your pockets or whatever. And they also have the version that have like, has like a tape on the bottom, you can stick them to your feet. So I started using those for rides and oh my God, it keeps your feet so nice and warm. So you can stick them on the bottom of your feet and on top. And then I keep a, a set in my pockets. And then if your biscuits start getting cold, you could always put a set in, in your back pockets and sit on them. So those things have been working so awesomely. And I also have a pair of uh, heated gloves and then I do uh, like sweatpants and then jeans on top of that. And sometimes I wear like these windbreaker pants that really cover, break that wind pretty well. And if you check out Eddie's or Shreddy's Amazon link in the description below. That's right. He you. has a lot of his um, winter riding gear listed there. Yep, you got it, you got it. The brakes go on that side, yes. And the stem is actually facing the right way for me. Usually I always have to flip it around. Let's see, is it tightened? Yeah, they tighten it up for me. Okay. okay. Um, I'm, I'm contemplating on putting the handlebars on and then flipping it upside down, doing the same old dealie I normally do. Looks like the kickstand's already on, so we don't have to worry about that. Actually, I still have to un unwrap a little bit more. Looks wow, it nice. stands up by itself pretty well without the help of the front tire. Gear Lee said, for my Christmas present, I got a 72-volt 50AH Mala Cell batteries with 5,000-watt motor and 100A controller. Thinking of switching out for a 150A controller. Ooh. Check out my Instagram. Hell yeah. Send me, a, uh, send me a link. Send me a picture. Still going. Chris Pilot, I'm partial to the modded, to the moped style, but a good variety of e-bikes is what makes your channel so great. Okay, so you like the variety. I know a lot of people are missing like me going out and, and eating and stuff and stopping at different restaurants. I, I'll, I'll do that more on like, uh, like range tests or group rides and stuff like that. Cause usually when I'm doing like the reviews, I like just stick in just to the review of the bike. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely get more uh, more group rides. I have so many. I think I have like four or five group ride videos that I haven't edited from like months ago. And I know some of you guys don't like seeing like older edited videos, but I was just trying to catch up with all of this stuff and the reviews and everything. But uh, like I said, we got the Christmas ride coming. So that's going to be a nice, uh, you know, video that isn't too old. Um, and I liked your Electrify video you put out like last week too. That was awesome. Yeah, the Electrify Expo. I did get to ride some fun bikes there. In Austin. One, one of the ones that stick out the most still is the Burrow Max, just for the fact that it was like so small and like fun. They had like the two different size, like little, I called them the mini surrounds because that's what they r reminded me of. Yeah, you guys, check out that video. He called it um, New E Bikes of 2023, Electrify Expo, Austin. So definitely check yeah. that out. It had awesome, fun bikes you rode around on, test out a bunch. Yeah, me and Dylan Thompson hung out. He, he uh, Him and I rode in the bucket bike. I got to ride in the front of that. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, the links are all under that video as well for those bikes. So we did get to goof, goof around and have a blast. Which size are you? Gear Lee said more modded, modded e-bikes, San DeLorean. What'd you th what did you think of the Teleria and all of the above? But the mod videos are always good. Always interested in it, what else these things can do. How about a sidecar? That would be a good review. That would be fun. Dee keeps asking for a sidecar. <laughs> I think it's because she just wants to ride in it. <laughs> yeah, I love sidecars. The Telarius thing. I actually, I, I liked it, but uh, I still, 
I still love the way the, the Suron feels, the shape of it. I don't know, the size of it. If this, this thing felt maybe like a little bit bigger, like I couldn't really, I couldn't really dial it down. What if they I, are just really the same exact thing? No, nah, it's not. And that the uh, the taller thing actually has a gearbox where the, the Suron doesn't. But that's like another piece that you got to worry about breaking. Amelia Socorro said, I know it's too much money. Um, CA said it's warm in Arizona. Lucky. I, that's one of the states uh, that I really, really, really need to go visit. I've been really wanting to visit Arizona so bad. Crash Knievel said in Florida it was in the 70s. Lucky. Nice. Lucky. CA, 75 in Arizona. Lucky. What is this cold you speak of? <laughs> it's get Yo, what do you guys think about that cold draft coming down like... What, what Mama Shav told me it's going like coast to coast or something. Like, Wait, is it cold in California now? Or no, it's still like well, 70. it's like 60 where he isn't Dana Point, but uh, I supposedly it's going to get short. cold in Texas, like really cold again in Texas. It's been cold in Texas, surprisingly. Yeah. When, when I landed in um, in Houston, turn it this way, duh. it was like 43 degrees, but 70 degrees here in Delaware. <laughs> so that was like the weirdest stuff. Oh yeah, one crazy thing in this video ride that we do, um, after the parade, we, uh, we just rip around and ride on the boardwalk and stuff. But when we were riding like a little bit, probably like half a mile away from the beach, it was super cold. Then we get to the beach, it goes up like 20 degrees warmer. It felt like somebody turned on the freaking heater. It was awesome. S. Taylor said those tires, nice. Yeah, I do like these Kendas, they're pretty sick. Supposedly th this company also has a, uh, what is it, like a big battery uh, bank thing that you can use like for camping and charging your bike and stuff like that. It's kind of like one of those Jackery guys. Power station, I don't, I don't know if that's what you want to call it or not. Oops, I didn't want to put that there. Paul Christensen, LOL, food video rides are cool. Do you go? More taco rides. Do you get food in the uh, the Christmas parade ride that you're gonna put up this week? No, but uh, I do have this funny video where we actually go out in the sand dunes on the Surons and everything. Actually, after my, if you guys didn't see that Suron tire change video, uh, the next day we go out to the sand dunes with the new tires, and we actually go out to our favorite spot, stop and go tacos. We get some tacos and then this drunk lady like pulls out of nowhere and at like, well, she didn't pull out of nowhere. She like walks out of nowhere and asks to hop on our surround if we can like give her a ride home. And we're all like, uh, no, we just sat there and talked to her and she was like just acting crazy. And then I saw some like random dude pulled up into the stop and go. I was like, hey, can you take my mom home? <laughs> and um, so she ended up getting a ride home with him. That was pretty nice, yeah. Wait, is this on your video you just released? No, I haven't put it up yet. <laughs> it was me, Bomber Marv, and Matt the Mechanic. It was, it was pretty epic. Pretty epic. When's that video going out? I don't really know. But you just put out that, that was a good video you just put out about the Suron tires. Which Suron tires they should get. Um, Ed McKim said a Zeus would be cool with more power. Zeus that 7, would be pretty badass, yeah. actually. The Zoo 750, comparatively, a, I think the Zoo 750 has a lot of power. <laughs> That's why I switched to 750, the 750, twerky. Twerky, twerky. Very twerky. Um, Goes up hills good, picks up speed fast. The newer ones are actually more quiet than the ones that I own. They actually have a different controller in the newer Zoos. The older ones had a square wave controller. The new ones have a sine wave. Oops. <laughs> Struggling with BB. <laughs> oh my God, this tool. I don't like it. <laughs> All right, so you're putting the handlebars on? Yeah. I'm trying to like leave it like loose. That way I can kind of like still move them around once I get everything Paul together. Paul Christensen, Ontario, Canada is in the negative 10 right now. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. I can't take that. I got like a little space heater out in the garage. I'm glad we're not doing the lives in the garage because it's still cold out there, dude. <laughs> yeah. Some auto. I love my cricket circuit. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I think it's like cricket. Cricket. 
But Can I you tell me if I'm saying it right, Crack It? <laughs> I love my circuit, but I have to say the guy that sells them in NA was not the best to deal with. Yeah, I remember you saying it that. It took like seven months to get my bike from him, and I have heard it's a very long wait with him. Each bike is unique. The frames are handmade, and they are not mass-produced. My suggestion is to just buy a frame and build that. My Cricut has... My circuit has a QS <laughs> we'll just say both names. 205 with a 72 volt 40 AH Molosol battery and Hell Sabaton yeah. 72,150 speed controller. It's mid 60s for top speed. Hell yeah, dude. That thing freaking rips. Earl Buckley said, if you're in the Phoenix area, let me know. We'll go for a ride for sure. All right. Oops, I'm tightening it up too much. Sorry. S. Taylor, it's going to be a high of 37 on Friday in uh, San Antonio, Texas. That's crazy. Wow. That's insane. I'm like, I want to move to Texas because it's so warm. We went to Texas once in January to visit his mom right. in um, like Austin. And we got off the plane and it was like pure white fog, like a whiteout. Like we couldn't even see anything <laughs> all over the place. All right, headlight. It's got a headlight. Does it have a tail light that I have to put on or anything? I don't think so. I think there's a rack that you can get for it. I don't think that mine has it. Cherokee Bowles said, are you native, bro? I am uh, Taino. That's a Puerto Rican Indian. Are you Cherokee? <laughs> I don't know. No, I mean Cherokee Bowles. I'm like 1% Cherokee, Tennessee. Looking nice, looking nice. Make sure I don't hit that front brake. I don't know if there's one of those little Eddie's spacers. Like, or Shreddy's like Taino and like a few other Native Americans because he did an ancestry and came back as like a bunch of different ones. Guys, these, these forks actually feel pretty solid. Like they're heavy. Make sure I don't crush that display. That's good. Chris Pilot, it's going to be Lowe's in the 20s here in Florida this weekend. Oh, That's just wrong. What part of Florida? That's crazy. Bro, not cool. <laughs> Should have been throwing everything Emilio in there. Emilio Salcuero, how was Texas, Shreddy? Texas was awesome. I had so much fun. I wish I would have went to a freaking barbecue place. I totally missed out. Um, you should watch some of my Texas trip videos. I uh, actually went to my first comedy show, the Kill Tony show, and uh, also my second comedy show, The Secret Show. That so was actually pretty freaking cool. Yeah, what were your Texas videos? The Mega Ride, the Sir on Mega Ride, and then the Electrify Expo. Yep. And then what was the other one called? Austin is weird. Austin is weird. Austin was very weird. They had like racist people in the street. <laughs> it was so weird. See, we got the real sand dunes near Imperial Valley where stars were filmed. Fact. Or where stars was filmed facts i'm gonna loosen these a little bit that that's way that's cool uh, once i get it on i can, can you, like hang glide off the sand dunes i want to hang glide i've never done anything like that like skydive hang glide maybe we, we can do that for a video when i hit when i hit 10k can i skydive dd <laughs> no <laughs> guys drop a like uh or actually give us a number one if you want to see me skydive at 10k no make a video <laughs> <laughs> he wants to ride in one of those like a little electric flying go-karts. I was like, oh no. <laughs> dude, these are some nice shocks for this bike, dude. Paul Christensen, glad to see that are okay after the accident at the lights. What's that? Oh, are, are you looking at the accident? That I'm okay? The at Grinch which? one? The Grinch one? Did you put the Grinch one up again? Yeah, I did. That was uh, like two years ago. Right before Christmas. That was a crazy, crazy, crazy crash. Oh, Super Sheena, hope she's okay. Who? What happened? <laughs> I'm lost. Super Sheena's in here? Yeah. Is that what we said? Oh, hi, Super Sheena. <laughs> Edmund Kim, sine wave is the way. Sine wave. Yeah, it's so much more quieter. Bubba Shitty, struggling with Shreddy. <laughs> Parts. Are we struggling yet? We're, we'll struggle here soon. Part 100. Uh, I hope. Dumb Wado, Friday is going to be a high of 53 in NYC, but Saturday is only 20 for the high. Seriously? Wow. It was supposed to snow. Who said that? 
Was that, you said Dumb Waldo? It was supposed to, we were supposed to have a snowstorm on Friday here, but now I think they like lowered the chance. Oh, Dumb Waldo, are you going to the Mega Ride in Florida? There's, talk, there's talks about Mega Ride in Florida. When? January, February, March, I think. I want to make it to it for sure. There's also talks of one in New York. When's that one? I, June or July, oh, okay. I want to say. Chris Pilot, it's... Oh, right, that's rubbing like no other. Northeast Florida, but it doesn't oh. normally get this cold. Jeez, that's insanity. What's, is Northeast Orlando? CA Star Wars. Oh, okay, <laughs> like Anakin Skywalker. It's where Star Wars was filmed. Okay, I was wondering what Stars was. Okay. We've got no rub there. Super Sheena, if you make it to San Antonio, we can take you to 2M Smokehouse for the best barbecue. That would be awesome. There was a place in Austin everybody kept telling me to go to that that shuts down. Once it shuts down, like, crap, I need to go to the top. Once it shuts down, like, they close it. That's it. Or once they're out of food, they close it for the day. That's it. Um, federal barbecue? I think that's what it was. We've been to San Antonio before. We need to go back. I'm doing... Oh man, I'm trying to do this by hand. What are you doing? I'm aligning the brake rotor. But like, if you do it by hand, it's so dangerous because your hands are so close to the rotor and I've had it slice my finger. It sucks. It hurts. All right, so I think we're good. We're not rubbing. Now I can tighten it down. We're good, we're good. There we go. Yeah, now I, I'm, I'm hoping to come down to Texas again very soon because I do love Texas. Everybody's so damn nice in Texas. It's like that, what do they call that? That Texas uh, hospitality is like, it's like a real thing. You guys are so nice. Are there they we more go. laid That's back it. down there? I know in Tennessee, everyone's like laid back. Everybody's just so helpful. They're, they're just down to help you out with anything. It's crazy. CA said, hell yeah, they skydive. Dumb Waldo, since Texas, Shreddy is my favorite YouTuber. Dylan was what? awkward and weird when I talked to him, so now he is number two. Who said that? Dumb Waldo. Oh, no, Dylan's actually really awesome. You got to hang out. Hang out with him to actually get to know him. Like he's definitely quiet at first, but he's definitely really cool and a sweet dude. All Bromo, all Bromo. Paul Christensen. Yes, that's the one. Wow, two years ago. Wow. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. what, that crash. Yeah, the crash. Oh. It I was got, bad. The bike split in half. I gotta um. You hear that? I gotta adjust. The, the derailleur again I remember this happened in the last bike and I was like I gotta go to Lewis Cycle Sports and get a lesson on how to do that I'll just watch a YouTube video fix it now the hear that that means the back one's rubbing So I'm gonna do the same thing that I did in the front. I'm just gonna eye it out. Then we'll flip this sucker up. Actually, I gotta, I'll hop on the other side, get that brake pedal on. Brake pedal, I mean pedal. All right, where is it? Super 73 Sheena said, hey. What's up? <laughs> there we go. That was actually pretty loose. The motto will not be able to do Florida. My landlady tweaked about e-bikes and won't renew my lease. So I will be moving at the end of February we can't make it to Florida in March. No. What is up with people in e-bikes? They should be happy they're not plowed motorcycles. I know, dude. That's crazy. Chris Pilot, Orlando is Central Florida. Northeast Florida is Jacksonville, St. Augustine, etc. Oh, St. Augustine. Is that where you said was nice? It was like little town. Is that the one where I said it looked like Harry Potter town? Does it look like Harry Potter's uh, Hogwarts? <laughs> <laughs> in St. Augustine. Paul Christensen, skydiving is a blast to do. I am certified at 40,000. What? I'm really? Kilo certified at 40,000. That is sick. Dumb Waldo. Texas people are awesome. Every single person I met there was cool AF. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can do this one-handed, but we'll try it. I'm going to try to align it. The, 
the normal way you're supposed to, where you hold the brake and tighten it down. CA said, hang up on derailleur. <laughs> Here, Lee, scuba diving. I've went scuba diving once ever in my life, but it, it was like so murky waters, like it sucked. I couldn't even see anything. It, was, it wasn't that fun. I mean, it, it was fun because I was like underwater and stuff. CA said, I can teach tension and AMD limit set screw with no cable tension, stretch cable first. Say what? I can teach tension and limit set screw with no cable tension, stretch cable first. I got, I got to have you over here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Crash can evil. Shreddy, come to Florida and shoot a cake video. I'm so down, dude. I'm so down. When we come up for that mega ride, maybe I'll come stay at your place. I actually don't even know what part of Florida they're going to have it. Oh, yeah. CA, I'll post link to adjust derailleur. Please what part of Florida so. do you live in, Crash Evil? Is he in like Jacksonville area? Earl Buckley, are you and Mama Marv starting your own e-bike shop? No, not yet. I, I want to keep doing this YouTube thing. Maybe if I get like too old and can't ride bikes anymore, I could focus on a store. But I want to focus on they, this stuff and get bikes out to you guys. They almost did two years ago, but turned out that turned out to be a joke with the guy that wanted to start it. <laughs> Like he wasn't. Yeah, I was supposed to he be wasn't really good. serious. Put a lot of time in. He was. We're just gonna leave it like that. Um, if, I can't stop Chris putting a roll in. Pilot. It could be Hogwarts ish. St. Augustine, Florida is the oldest city in North America. See, I knew that that was yeah, that was St. Augustine. It was I, I went there on skate trips about like three different times and it, I, I loved it. I thought it was so cool there. I thought it looked really, really awesome. Do you guys know that Delaware is the first state and we live in the First town in the first state. Historic. It's historic here. Eddie is an original Native American here, so like I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we actually are our uh, Native America here. What were they? The Lenape Indian? Lenape Indians Lenape. Are here. If you guys want to see their airheads and stuff, my brother has a whole museum Tons. collection. Okay, CA is gonna send a link on how to do it. Sweet, thank you, brother. I know you're supposed to start at one and then go through all the gears while turning the little barrel thing and all that fun stuff. All right, look nice. Those shocks seem nice though for what it is. It's like, uh, it's like they got like Suron front forks. <laughs> um, what else we got? Oh, snap. We got a notification bell and a throttle so it does have throttle my guess is it's powered by a torque sensor for pedal assist is what i'm thinking all right d make sure i don't hit that <laughs> crash and evil studies in bradenton florida southwest nice i was just laughing because i think this might be a joke Dumb water said I'm part fuck owie, but only when I'm hot. <laughs> you mean like where the fuck owie? Fuck owie. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. CA, no, you release cable and set by, oops, it just went up. High and low limit screw. All right, so we're going to do it right there, I think. That feels about right. Then we'll tighten down the handlebars the rest of the way because I got it nice and centered for how I like it. I'll you make said sure. you release cable and set by high and low limit screw. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I don't we need know. a video. I don't know. We need a YouTube video. <laughs> That's what we're supposed to be. The one thing I need to do, I still haven't done, is do like a real full bleed on my, uh, on brakes. I've done like the burp thing. Like my super had a, like air in the lines and all I did was like unscrewed this little thing right here and put the little funnel in there and just kept on doing that until all the bubbles were out. And I actually got my uh, my Sonicare toothbrush and I ran it up and down the lines to try to get the bubbles up. I don't know if that worked or not, but. <laughs> Gave it a massage. Seems to work. All the bubbles are out now. The brakes work awesome. All right, so now you're tightening tightening that up. Yeah, because I found the right position I liked. 
The bike looks nice. Yeah, I like the color of it. I like the sleek design of the, the small battery. Yeah, it's really sleek. I want to, this got to be like a 10 amp hour battery or something. Oh yeah, the battery doesn't stick out. That's nice. Yeah, it's like sleek in the frame. But oh. I'm sure if, if you did want an extended battery, if you wanted, maybe you could put like a rack on here and add something to the back or something. Yeah, they have racks for them. I don't see a, a, like a triangle or anything. Oh, Another so battery it's like a in there. stealth e-bike then. It's pretty stealthy, I would say. It's not like, hey, I'm, a, I'm an e-bike. I think the top speed on this is about 20 miles an hour. And, hold on, why? why 28 did... miles an hour. Oh, it says 28 on there? Mm-hmm, 750 watt. Dude. So to put the throttle on, I, I don't understand why they didn't have the throttle on already. I gotta take the, I gotta take all this off. Unless I put the throttle on the, crap, what side do I wanna put the throttle? I think I have to put it on the left side because if you guys look over here, the shifter is there. I'd have to put the throttle like here unless I move the shifter all the way in here. I think Where I might, usually put it? Some, some bikes have it on the left. So I'm thinking I probably should pull all this off and then slide it in there. And uh, let's get our notification on first. Notification bell. Where should I put that? To tell you the truth, I don't know where they're, they're suggesting me to, to put this. Maybe I could put the shifter in. That's weird. To, did the bike turn on? The bike looks really nice. I think the bike did turn on. Look. Oh, I just had to get in the gear. How'd the bike turn on? I don't remember hitting the power button. Okay, it's off. This is what happened last time. You thought the bike was off, but the battery was off. Yeah. So the front fork, it has a preload, and you can also lock it out. Okay. What do you guys think? Should I put the throttle on the left side or the right side? That That's going to give me the decide to put this this bell <laughs> if I figure that out with the way this looks like I feel like there's not enough room see like bell on left I'd have to move this whole right <laughs> all this over some people were saying left some people were saying right and then if I move that over, I could just move this over and then put it on there. So I don't know what I should do. I don't know what to do. We'll slap that on there. Let's see if anything goes on. All right. That's oh, the bell holder. I think I'm gonna try to put it on the right side where it should, should be, where it naturally feels good to me. Yep, that is our notification. I'm just sliding it closer. The bike closer. looks really nice. Yeah, it looks sleek. Do you want me to turn it sideways a little bit more? Yes. There we go. There we go, guys. Look at that. And how would I turn on the headlight? Hold on, let me turn it on again. Sometimes it has like a walking mode if you hold the maybe down button sometimes. Yep, so that's the walking mode, and then hold up. That's our headlight. Okay, that's cool. There we go. All right, so yeah, let me turn that. Yeah, this e-bike is, or yeah, this uh, e-bike is affordable at under two thousand dollars. Back off. I'm gonna get this a little closer to you guys. That way I can show you guys me messing with that and make sure the throttle and everything works on this. Yeah, a lot of people said the right. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, yeah, because it, it just feels more natural, you know. We have these, but I don't, I don't know, you know. I have blinkers on my book bag and everything. Some water said that bike has good-looking forks. It definitely it does. It does, dude. The RSTs. It's crazy. Suspension. Forks. I'll have to ch uh, check with the shock pump, make sure, like, it has air in it or... It, is it... Do I need a shock pump to pump these up? 
I'm not sure. Actually, I don't see anything on the bottom. We'll see. All right, so. So Moto said throttle opposite of the rear brake for wheelies. That, that would be a good idea, but I kind of, I think maybe I can swap the levers and have it uh, rear on the left. Hmm. Damn it, now you got me thinking. Let me just do it on the right for now, because you are right, for wheelies, it would be easier, because then I wouldn't have to swap the, uh, the brakes. Or is this the bike you can, you can wheelie here? I, I feel like all mountain bikes, you should be able to wheelie. The, um, that Velatric, I, I could wheelie that, uh, the Nomad and almost wheelie the Discover. Loosen a little bit Chris more. Chris Pilot said, unfortunately, they would only seen Florida is also where the Trail of Tears ended. So the Native American history isn't the best. Oh, uh, okay. CA said, let it go down and then make sure it doesn't fall to rear derailleur and the chain stays. Wrench 17 years. Park tool rear and front derailleur adjustment and search. Oh, he said search park tool rear derailleur adjustment. For some reason, this does not want to come off. <laughs> Usually you can unscrew these little two little guys and Calvin, the guy with the mustache who looks like Borat, is awesome. Met him at Interbike. Like Borat? <laughs> Tom Water said that's why they didn't put it on. Oh, <laughs> well. Yeah, they were like, I'm not taking that shit off. Not again. All right, whatever. Tom Water said put it on the pedal and make it a foot throttle. <laughs> that makes sense. Leave that there just like that. <laughs> Chris right. Pilot, a lot of stealth e-bikes these days head on the left because so many shifters are on the right and people don't like it when their shifter numbers are upside down. I'm just gonna slide the shifter in far. It's probably gonna look not too good, <laughs> but we're gonna see. Am um, I missing? Yep, right. it's still in the bag. Right next to my water, exactly what I need. Year 2000 Diamondback response look alike. Some motors are a little opposite for wheelies. Shreddy is a wheelie machine, D. <laughs> Who said that? I know. I don't know why I said you're going to do wheelies on this bike. <laughs> Gear Lee, please hit that like button. Thanks, Thank guys. Thank you, Gear. Thank you. All right. Now. Loosen that up. How far does this go in? Oops. I'm shifting gears. Yes, it's the same one. You finally have the right tools? It came with the bike. Good. Tools came with the bike, guys. One day, Always Shreddy will have some good tools. One day. One day. Yes, it comes out. All right. Slide it in like a gentleman. All right. We'll just do that. Get that. Like that. Oh, this is going to be hard to slide it in. Actually, a lot easier. CA said park tool is the way to go, Shreddy. Park tool? Is that like a, a website to check out? Oh, sorry. I'm in concentration mode right now. <laughs> sorry, D. So for you guys Oops. that are just joining, this is the... Man Day, the Van Powers Man Day. It's a 750 watt fat tire type mountain bike. Where's my little end cap right 28 here? miles per hour. Oh, that... All terrain riding. I actually broke the end cap off pulling that off like that. Whoopsies. Do not, yeah. Don't always follow everything that Shreddy does. Don't do as I do. That's why I'm here, to make the mistakes for you guys. Oh, got it in. There we go. Hell yeah. 
Okay, now we're gonna tighten this down. Actually, I gotta go out a little bit more, right there. Tighten this sucker down. Any, any questions, guys? Any questions while we get this all tightened down? You said, yeah, it's like snap on a bicycle. It's also automotive. Oh, okay. So Moldo said, I'm bad at math. If 24 people are watching and the video is 14 likes, how many people need to hit the like button? <laughs> like now. Uh, I'm not good at math either. That would be but nine. thank you. That would be nine people. <laughs> That's so funny. Love it. <laughs> right, I'm going to tighten that up nice. And there I were even more people it. before. <laughs> Bring that over here a little bit. Now, where is the, where is oh, the, and also uh, for those of you who are just joining. What do I do? E-bike giveaway. I'll tell you guys about the e-bike giveaway as soon as he's done focusing. I hope I have this aimed right down a little bit. How do you guys like your brake levers? Like straight forward or you like them aimed down just a little bit? And for the, those of you that do wheelies, how do you like them? I kind of aim it down a little bit so I can slide this in a little bit more to get that out of the throttle as well. That's gonna be weird shifting gears all the way here. Ugh. But I don't know, to tell you the truth, I don't see myself shifting gears too crazy much, I don't think. I don't know, maybe, possibly. Uh, see how you said slight tilt down for the brake levers? That's what I like, just a slight, slight bit. Come on, get in there. There we go. White tilt for the win, Super Sheena said. Let's go. All right. Yeah. Put that there. We'll go for the slight tilt because I did not do that. Oh, I think I tightened it up a lot. <laughs> there we go. Left tighter than the right. Right there, I think, yeah. Dumbledo said, I sit on the bike and adjust the brake levers to be a straight line for my arm. I like just a little bit of, of downward angle. And I don't know what the wheelie boys do, but I know I got a, a hint from the wheelie boys that you should make your levers a little bit further out so it doesn't hit your knuckles when you're like feathering. So I did that on, the, on my wheelie bike, on the bike that I like to wheelie. Um, okay. So where's my throttle? <laughs> oh, it's got a zipper. I've never seen that, a zippered one. That's nice. Take it off, take it off, come on. I see something down there. It's stuck. I think it's stuck. What is it? It's like a zipper that's holding this. Maybe I can plug it in. There we go. So if you look down here, that's what I got to plug it into. Line up these suckers. Zip them back up. That's pretty nice. I like that. I've never seen these like that. The little zipper sleeve. All right. So now we're going to see if the throttle works. Woohoo! And then we're going to show you guys a uh, the bike we're going to be giving away on January 5th, here very soon, actually, let me make January sure. January 3rd. <laughs> or is it January 3rd? I mean, the bike giveaway is now. Yeah, the giveaway is already is in, it's like already running. You can enter it now, the winner is chosen January 3rd. Okay. There we go. I'm going to pop out the battery just to check out how it comes out and everything, and just see what size Paul Christensen is. said he likes his level with the floor. CA said he's got to go. Have a good one. CA, be Have sure a good to one. enter Thank for you. the e-bike giveaway on Shreddy's Instagram. Everybody hop over there. If you guys are enjoying this little unboxing and assembly, don't forget to drop a like. Wow, look how small that battery is. So let's see what it is rated on. It's a 48 volt. What I, th I say, I thought it was a, four, or a 10, 10 amp hour. It was a 14 amp hour battery. 672 watt hours. That's pretty cool. 
Okay. And then we got the two amp charger with that. So I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna see if the pedal assist levels coincide with the throttle level, like my last bike. Now that's pedal assist one and going up and down doesn't change the speed at all. And pedal assist zero, you still got throttle. So that's awesome. I'm gonna keep moving this over more. I'm. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to be able to shift this. I'm going to be over here like tick, tick, tick. Let me aim it down a little bit. <laughs> this is very weird. We're going to leave it like that for now. All right. Should have maybe put the throttle on the, on the opposite side. That's funny. What side do you usually have it on? Throttle is always on this side. Normally. So but since it has uh, the weird gears like that, they normally put it on the opposite side. Let's check out the gears. Just to keep everything out of the way. I mean, I can still use them. So I think we're still good. We're good. Let's check it out. So the, you guys know I like actual hydraulic disc brakes. Like, especially if you're gonna be going over 20 miles an hour. But we're gonna see. I feel like this bike is gonna be fun to jump. I'm gonna keep the back tire like kind of low kind of bouncy to give me that uh not a hard tail feel <laughs> and uh the front suspension just feels pretty damn good man like oh that it'd be fun to make a franken bike uh six months from now with all these parts and all these bikes that i got right now but this is a vampires mandate we're going to be doing a review first riding review on this pretty soon um soon we got the frigo which is the last bike we have left to unbox until more bikes that are on the way. I don't know what it is yet, but we got stuff coming guys. And we have a giveaway. If you guys want to stay, stay tuned for that. We're going to be doing a JC on folding bike giveaway. I can bring that over here. Uh, do we have any questions? Anything? Uh, do the super 73s have a left-handed throttle? Uh, is there is a super with left-handed throttles? They were asking. I don't think, I, maybe the ones in, in Europe, because they have like the, the probably the better uh, shifter, and they, I think they have better brakes than us also. But in Europe, they But have they can only go, I think. America? That's th funny. They can le legally only go like 15 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour, something like that. So this is the e bike that is on a giveaway right now. This is the JCON uh, Folding EB7. Uh, it's a 500 watt folding e-bike, 48 volt. I, I want to say, hold on, I got the battery over here. Actually, I can tell you the battery size on that, but we're going to be giving that away. Head over to my Instagram to check out the details on that. Tag a friend in each line in the comments. So this is the battery that comes with it. It's a, this one's a 10 amp hour battery that goes right here in the frame. You can pedal this sucker, pedal assist. It's got a half twist throttle on it. So I'm losing shoes. I'm losing shoes. So yeah, we're going to be giving this away. So if you guys are interested in the giveaway, head over to my Instagram. If you guys don't have an Instagram, I suggest maybe making like a fake Instagram so you can join and you... Not a fake one. Not a fake one, but just make one. Just make one. Just make one. So you can join and... What is it? It's all only in the U.S., not Hawaii. Yeah, it's only in the U.S., like continental U.S., I yep. guess that's called. Yep. Not Hawaii, Puerto Rico, or Alaska. So on the third, we're going to be choosing a random, random winner for this JCON folding e-bike with these little, I think they're like three and a half inch tires. So Mora said that bike would look way better with some BMX handlebars. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. Crash Evil said, keep up the great work, Shreddy. Peace Thank out you. all my e-bike friends. Stay safe. Thank you for joining, brother. Thank you. Have a good night. I got to come visit you sometime, brother. 
Yeah, so that's that bike. We're gonna get this out of the way. We're gonna, I was just looking at Some it. Some water said I tried to sign up with Instagram and they asked for ID and said I was too old. What? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Super Sheena, gotta win that for my girlfriend so we can finally join the, so she can finally join the electric Wait party. a minute, Sheena, I thought she, she had an e-bike. We gotta get her on an e-bike for sure. I thought she had one. I was uh, under the impression that she had one. Yeah, definitely get her an e-bike. So I saw, Sheena at the Houston Meg Ride, and then I saw Sheena and her, her girlfriend at the Electrify Expo, which was awesome to see you the next day. That was cool. Shreddy, your outfit like matches this bike. My outfit? Yeah. Hey. Trying to look good here. Super Sheena, nope, she needs to learn to ride. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, she can't do the throttle? I just learned to ride. Yeah, I was say, Didi just learned. On the Zeus, I have a video on yep. his channel. Channel. We got to get D on the on the Surround. <laughs> I didn't need the directions after all, but the one thing after we're done this, what do I always say? After you're done putting your bike together before your first ride, what do you always got to do? Who can answer the question? What do you always have to do before you ride your bike? <laughs> I can't find my tools. <laughs> All top. right, well, you got to always check your nuts, and that's what I got to do. I'm going to take off these little covers, check, make sure everything's nice and tight. When I find my tools, I, I don't know where I actually put my tools, but I'll do check that. Check your nuts, dumb Waldo. Always <laughs> check your nuts. Always, always, always. You said make sure everything's tight, yes. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm still, man, I, I still got to get the confidence about these, these quick releases. Like, do those people that, that bomb like mountains on mountain bikes have quick releases on their bikes or are they like the dropout forks or are they like the slide through axle? I'd be scared to drop mountains <laughs> with it. How do you know it's quick release? What does that mean? Shocks or uh, Quick release is how the, the wheel comes off. Like you just snap that down and it comes off. Uh, other bikes have like the screws, uh, which is like a dropout fork or uh, they have um, like a through axle that goes through like my Suron. So that's this. Any questions, guys? Just know that I have that giveaway on Instagram. I got some videos coming out. We got another Frigo live unboxing because I'll bring uh, the black one and I got a green one now. So I'll bring that other uh, Frigo in and tell you what happened to the black one and why they sent me a, a green one. And I'll show you what happened with that. I, and I looked up quick release versus through axles. And it says the through axle is far stiffer. Um, I don't know if that helps. <laughs> far stiffer. I don't know what, what they mean by that. Far, uh, oh, tighten up that suspension. Any questions? Any questions, guys? D, any questions? D, D. Uh, let's she's see. She's in there reading. She's Googling. What's the amp hour on the battery? 14 amp hour, 48 volt. Uh, oh, yeah, let's go through the specs. Where's, yeah, let's go through the specs. Where's my, uh, my telephone? Donde esta mi telephone? Hola, como esta? Me llamo Eduardo. Shreduardo. Oh, so it comes up to, with a up to two year warranty. You're covered, uh, Frames have a two-year warranty and other parts have a six-month warranty or greater. 30-day return policy on this sucker. So that's cool. So the Kenda is, it's a Kenda uh, 26 by 4. So I was right, 26-inch fat tires. King meter LCD display. Thumb throttle that they put, uh, it looks like they put it on the right side on their picture. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. It looks like he's hitting the thumb throttle like upside down or something. No, it's on the, they got it on the right side. Thumb throttle, 750 watt, 85 Newton meter Bafang motor, Shimano eight speed uh, drivetrain, um, RST suspension fork with 95 millimeters of travel. Those things do feel beefy for this bike, it's crazy. Removable battery, like I said, it was a 14 amp hour, nice and sleek in the frame, so it makes it look like nice and stealthy. Um, you know, regular type saddle. I'll probably put like uh, one of my uh, beach cruiser saddles on there. You know how my biscuits are. They need a little love. And they do have a rack. Uh, they didn't give me a rack with this bike, but you could put it back here. Looks pretty nice. Uh, max speed. It does say 15 miles an hour, but on the 
speedometer with no load, it went up to 28, but yeah, and um, we're gonna I, see. I watched Van Power's YouTube video and read their description, and theirs says 28 miles an hour. 28 miles an hour, so maybe the 50 mile an hour is the European version. Um, they said uh, they, you can go about to 70 miles on this. I'm sure it's with pedaling. Uh, motor rating is 48 volts, 750 watt, like I said. Ideal, so the rider height from five, four to six foot two would be the best rider height for this. Let me see what Which, the- Which um, answers the next question. E-bike Mike 73, is this a bike D would want to ride at all? I don't think she I could I love this it. bike, I love the style. He just said it is for riders five four and taller, and I am five two. Five two, yeah. So D, it's just two inches too tall for me. D wants to keep her feet like flat on the ground, pretty much. So it is powered by a cadence sensor, so it's not a torque sensor. A cadence, it like automatically it just goes for whatever power you're in. A uh, torque sensor kind of gives you what you're pushing into it. The frame is uh, it says 19 inch 60 by 61 aluminum alloy. Uh, 26 inch compatible. We already got the Kenda tires. The rims are power circle, aluminum alloy, single wall rims. And we already got the, the fork. Center bar stem, uh, don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think we're, we're all, that, that's all you guys need to know. 750 watt, we're gonna see what kind of power this has for bringing us up like hills and jumps and See how that front tire holds up with uh, what I throw at it. Make sure that dropout or that uh, quick release doesn't quick release me into uh, no existence. <laughs> Matt the mechanic, bro, what's up, dude? Let's shred that bike. I know this is like that other bike that you took out. Uh, I don't know if you rode it today or yesterday. I think you rode it. No, today you rode the Hobsco. So that's uh, two bikes I need to actually compare because they're pretty much like fat tire type mountain bike. This one has the cadence sensor. The other one has the torque sensor. Oh, I think this is lightweight too, right? I think it said. Oh, it, oh, I didn't read how much it weighs. Let me get into the geometry. And, and um, stuff. Hunter said brakes, question mark? They are um, mechanical disc brakes, not hydraulic. And usually I love hydraulics, so it probably would be sw easy to switch them out to hydraulic, but um, they are mechanical disc brakes. So me personally, anything over 20 miles an hour, I, would, I like having hydraulic disc brakes just for good stopping power. Also, you guys, just keep in mind, this is a nice, affordable e-bike um, at under $2,000. How much is it? $1,999. Yes. Yep. Where's That's the weight, good. guys? Oh, it's $1,199. That's good. Check out Shreddy's link down below for the bike. Delmoto said, Shreddy, I think we need a Polar Vortex live stream Saturday to see you try this bike. Well... Oh, there's one thing I got to show you guys. So V Tire sent me um, studded freaking tires, 20 inch studded tires, 20 by four inch studded tires. So I want to throw those on the Aerial Rider Grizzly and see how those things handle like ice and snow. James Williams said, when are you going to get back out and make content? <laughs> I, I, he, he's been putting out more videos than ever. If you check out his uh, YouTube, he put out, what'd you just put out? Austin is weird. Yeah. Oh no, I did the new uh, new shoes on my on my Suron where I took that out. New tires on a Suron. He just took new that shoes. out with Matt, the mechanic. Got new kicks on my Ron. And then he put up videos at the Electrify Expo in Austin, Texas. Houston Mega Ride. Houston Mega Ride. So now, right now, um, I'm almost done the uh, Christmas parade where I, I hopped on the Super, did a bunch of wheelies in the parade. Hung out, try out uh, tried out the Talarius thing, the C3 Strom. Uh, then we did a little group ride after the parade, did some wheelies, hung out at uh, Joe Biden's house, did some wheelies in front of his house. Um, went on a boardwalk, did some wheelies. So pretty much that whole video is just me doing wheelies. So when is that video coming out? Uh, what's today, Tuesday? Maybe Thursday, it should be done. I just gotta get a good uh, screen grab on there. D, D was... Uh, Walking down the whole uh, parade, like blocking people's shots, getting yelled at by kids' moms and stuff, <laughs> telling her that she's blocking their kids' view. <laughs> I was trying to get good footage for you guys. <laughs> she did. She got some good wheelies from us. So that was a lot of fun. I love, I love being a part of the parade. Del Moto said Shinko FTW. 
FTW. That's what I, I have the, the Shinko 244s on uh, the Suron, and then I have the 241s on the Huck. So, actually, the, the one thing, my Huck will be back up and running very soon. I know it's been a paperweight for a little bit because uh, the front bearings were totally shot to the point where they were about to seize up, and the last person riding it was Shav. Luckily, he didn't die. <laughs> but, uh, Oh, thank you. Gina Deliza just sent a super chat, $10. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. We'll throw that towards my taco fund. <laughs> Christmas present. Or hot, hot, hot sauce fund. <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate she it. Said, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Happy New Year. What's everybody doing for New Year's, too? I don't even know what, what we're doing for New Year's. Might just hang out in this house. <laughs> Shoot going, some fireworks in here. We're going to my brother's. <laughs> Shoot some fireworks Our there for sure. Brothers, then we're gonna see fireworks. Hmm. Um, Del Moto, FTW is for the win. Seriously, that's not, not like old person slang. <laughs> 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 I think isn't FTW mean like F the world? Yeah. <laughs> Don't ask me for shit. It's not too heavy. I it didn't. I couldn't find the weight on there. I, I want to say it it's says like it's lightweight. Seventy five pounds. Seventy six pounds. Yeah, I want to say in the 70-ish pound range, I want to say. So yeah, what, what was I talking about? Christmas ride coming. Then I got old Dune rides where uh, we met up and I, I got that drunk lady a ride from some random guy and I, I told her him to get my mom home. Uh, oh no, when I pulled up, I was like, all right, mom, I'll see you when I get home. Or I'll see you when you get home. So that was pretty fun. Shaver's last uh, ride back from June or July. <laughs> So we got a lot of old videos to get back and, and finish editing, but we're going to be doing a lot more videos also. So maybe I need to hire Dee, Dee to start learning how to edit here soon so we can have two people editing videos and I can start doing two to three videos a week for you guys because I know uh, I've been, I was slacking on the content before all these bikes started coming in, but we got more stuff coming out. We got a lot more traveling to do also. Uh, I got another California trip coming. Uh, so we got the Florida Mega Ride coming. New York. I'm I'm so nervous to ride around New York, but if it's a mega ride, like we're surrounded by people, you know. I'm just worried about like the crazy drivers in New York that want to get past the mega ride. <laughs> so, guys, that's going to be the end of this live stream. If you guys enjoy this content, don't forget to drop a like. I had a lot of fun with you guys. Always you guys are usually always telling me how to build a bike. I think today I did pretty good. Didn't... Oh, another super chat just came thank in you, from thank Super you so... Sheena. Thank you, Super Sheena. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Everybody actually loved your freaking bike. Everybody kept on bringing that up to me. So thank you for letting me interview you on that on that e-bike. She said, I hope you both have a great evening. And if we don't see another stream before Sunday, enjoy your holiday weekend. Thank you for the $20, Sheena. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, we'll, we'll be going live once more before the holidays. I got to get that Frigo uh, F1 Pro out of that box. Yeah, we have another unboxing box. to do. <laughs> yeah, literally the box is right behind D. So we got to get that out of here get get all these all this stuff out and we'll get back to doing some some videos on some fun bikes some modded bikes and then then i got some more bikes to come in and review and stuff so you know we got we got a lot of fun to be had and i got a lot of tra traveling to be done a lot of you guys to meet also so um as always if you guys do want to support the channel check out that link down below for the van powers uh man day uh, I'm not sure if the link is working just yet, but if you guys are interested, just send me a, a DM and I can always send you a, a working link. It's hopefully. working, but it's not an affiliate link that's working. So if you guys are interested in the bike, please send Shreddy a message and he can send you the actual affiliate like link working once he gets link. from the company and I'll update it below also. Yeah, it's weird that, that the link isn't working the way it's set up right now. So... Ariel Scott, any trips to Chicago? 10K on the way. Oh, so the Chicago trip, I really want to do that because I want to hang out with Shy Battery Systems. They, they uh, have an awesome facility that I really want to tour, and I sh actually really want to try all their toys there. Like they, I don't know if you guys checked out the Austin Electrify Expo video. They have a 40-horsepower go-kart that they're definitely going to be letting me ride and try out when I go visit them there. Uh, and they, they have just a ton of other fun toys that I just want to try out. And all the guys there are super cool, a lot of fun to hang out with. 
I met them at the expo and hung out with them also at the Houston uh, Mega Ride after party at a We Code It awesome place in Houston. Paul Christensen said, Merry Christmas to everyone from Ontario, Canada. Have a great New Year, too. Merry Christmas. I will be in South Africa in the new year. Oh, heck yeah. That's awesome. I want to do some fun traveling like that, man. That sounds fun. Some water is excited. You got 24 likes. Everyone hit that like Let's button. Let's go. Keep hitting those likes. Let's get up to 30 likes. How many people are in the chat right now? Keep going. Come on. All right, guys. So if, if the Van Powers bike isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. As always, if you guys want, or uh, uh, if you guys enjoyed that content, <laughs> please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification. Let's hear this new bell to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next live. I think we're gonna be going live again, maybe in. Maybe Friday, maybe we'll go live Friday and then we got a Christmas ride coming out very soon. Maybe not Friday, maybe, maybe not Friday. Maybe Thursday. <laughs> All right, guys, a lot of love to you guys. Thank you guys so much.